I'm working on antibacterial nanomaterials to tackle the problems of bacterial infections. In 2012, we found that cicada wings have certain nanopillars that can kill the bacterial cells. In this fellowship, I propose that I will make surfaces which are inspired from these insect wing structures. So I have made uh, nanopillars on artificial substrates which kill the bacterial cells on contact. So I'm pretty excited about this project because it combines microbiology and nanofabrication. And I think uh, this nanotechnology has applications in many industries. So I am particularly interested in uh, this healthcare industry because the infections are so severe that people are dying and they have a significant economic impact. India Alliance has helped me uh, a lot because it has given me a platform where I'm able to perform as an early career researcher because there's none like it in India. The Alliance happened because the Wellcome Trust, individual scientists, and the Department of Biotechnology wanted to look at a new paradigm where we create an excitement about cutting edge science. The great strength of what we do in India is that we work with the Department of Biotechnology so we know we have buy-in from the Indian government and that gives enormous reassurance for an international funder like Wellcome. These partnerships are very important to build not only our research collaborations but also to help in building capacities for our researchers and young students and to leverage the strength on either side. The purpose of India Alliance is to fund the best talent in biomedical research and to nurture them for future leadership roles. We fund a very broad range of biomedical research from basic to clinical to public health research. I do research mostly in the area of maternal and child health, especially in the vulnerable communities. We are calling them vulnerable because their nutritional status is poor. And this is despite the fact that they have enormous traditional knowledge about the indigenous foods, their edibility, which maybe the rest of the world is unaware of. So my idea is using local foods, traditional diets in improving the nutritional status of the community, understanding the gaps, why it is not translating into consumption, how those gaps can be addressed through policy interventions. In basic research, for example, we fund things like causes of disease, mechanisms of disease, and in clinical research, we confirm these hypotheses in human patients. My name is Vikram. I'm a physician scientist. I work mainly in the area of leukemias, blood cancers. I'm basically looking at mechanisms of drug resistance in acute promyelocytic leukemia. We're talking about a blood cancer which from diagnosis to death without treatment is two to three weeks. It's a very unique and very distinctive kind of a blood cancer which we treat with arsenic trioxide. But it's also one of the blood cancers where if you do initiate treatment rapidly, the chances of cure are the highest among all the blood cancers. We've actually treated patients with very positive preliminary results which we need to validate with larger number of patients. And the leads that we have got with this, we believe we can take forward in looking at ways in which we can treat other blood cancers as well. We are also an agency that wants to set pace in policy issues. And one of the issues that we have taken up recently is women in science. I'm a population geneticist. I've been working on tigers and their population genetics for about a decade now. This cat is fresh, you can smell it. Our goal is to investigate how important genetic variation is to individual well-being. So does it matter to the tigers in Ranthambore? Does it affect their futures if they are genetically depauperate or inbred? Ranthambore tigers are just an example of what's happening to many populations across the world of many species. As a human population density increases, wild spaces shrink and you have few individuals, 50 to 100 animals, which are in these islands, habitat islands. And so over time, as it becomes harder for individuals to move between these parks because there are seas of people in between, 
we have to address whether it's okay to let these small populations be or are the inbreeding effects going to kick in and those populations may go extinct. In which case, we have to think about whether we need to supplement them genetically. I'm trying to use this research as an example to think of what might be the best strategy to secure futures and minimize extinction. And I hope that insights from studying Ranthambore will be generalizable to other species and situations. Our fellowships are highly sought after. Uh, they have become the go-to fellowships in India and we're very proud of that. It's relatively uncommon for physicians in India to move to pure basic science research. India Alliance has been extremely helpful for physician scientists. They're very flexible in the way that one can work with them in terms of funds, manpower, equipment, etc. You don't have these rigid walls and there's always somebody to talk to and communicate with. I'm stationed in Delhi and this community is in Jharkhand. I needed to have a team both with me here as well as there in the field. So for that, I needed a comprehensive support. All these will be supported by India Alliance, which is like wonderful. In a country like India, where research is funded primarily through public funds, the public has a right to know what scientists do. Strong science communication builds scientific temper and also inspires the next generation of scientists. DBT Wellcome Trust India Alliance program is completing 10 years now. We would love to see this expanding. We'd like to see universities becoming a part of it and see these fellows at different levels being able to bring in the more and more PhD students and other researchers to build capacities in India for cutting edge research and bringing India into the forefront of biotechnology globally as well. So I'm delighted uh, we got this far and done so well and this is just but a springboard to the future.